Hi, welcome to TruePokerDealer.com. My name is Mark Shumsker, and in this video I'm going to go over handling the chips on the table. Now we have separate uh, chip cutting video, that's one video. We have a separate interacting with the chips in the tray video, and we have a separate rack maintenance video, tray maintenance video. Those are all three videos that are important. I like that you're watching this one now because you really should watch this one first. So throughout this video, if you see me go like this with my hands, that's me clearing my hands. Basically what I'm doing is, if there were cameras here, which there are not cameras for surveillance right now, I would be having my palm facing the ceiling and the back of my hand facing the ceiling. It can be in a quick motion. And the point of that is, is that you've got cameras that watch all casino activity to protect the casino, to protect the players, and, and to protect the employees. And one of the things that they do is they protect the casino from theft and they don't want anyone having a chip in their palm and maybe getting it in their sleeve or something else like that. So whenever you see me clear my hand, remember that that's a time that you should do it. I'll mention it. And that's what it is. So the first thing when it comes to chip handling that I'm going to talk about is how to hold an individual chip. You want to hold the chip in your fingertips. When you hold the chip in your fingertips, you prevent it from getting in your palm just kind of like what I just showed you. Same thing with the stack. You want to hold a stack of chips in your fingertips, right like this. Now, if I stand up, I can't bend my arm without doing it, you can see that there's room in my palm right here. I'm not holding the chips like this, where I can hold on to one when I, when I hand it off, just like that. Now, that's not really a good way to do it, but the point is, is that you want the chips never to be in your palm, always to be handled in your fingertips at all times. And in this case, I've got my thumb on one side, my forefinger, my middle finger, my ring finger, all touching the felt and having full control of the chips. If I needed to, I could drop some chips and, and start cutting them or whatever it was that I wanted to do. The next thing I'll teach is when I'm holding a chip, if I want to put it from this hand into this hand, that's called going hand to hand with chips if I do it like this and you should not do that. That is another opportunity for theft and you want to avoid that as a dealer. If I wanted to take this chip, and put it in this hand, I drop it on the felt in front of me, clear my hand, and then pick it up with the other hand. Same thing over here. The slightest bit slower, but still really not that slow when you get used to it. Same thing with the stack. Put it in front of me in the felt, clear my hand, pick it up. Same thing just like this. It goes back and forth like that. The next thing that I'll talk about is the opportunity that a dealer usually is unaware that they're going hand to hand is when they want to take this stack and put it into the tray in a spot like this. When that's the case, notice, clear your hands after you come out of the tray. When that's the case, you'll see a dealer pick up the stack of chips. They won't have any way to get the stack in there because their fingers are in the way and they'll take it out of their hand. You'll see new dealers do this sometimes that are not quite there yet and they'll be able to put it in. That's something you don't want to do. What you do instead is you take the stack of chips, you put your thumb on top and you put your either forefinger, middle finger or both on the bottom and you roll the stack toward yourself or you could do it away from yourself in a similar way. We prefer toward yourself, and then you've got a grip that's real easy to just drop right in there. Be careful of your grip though. If it's not strong enough, the chips will fall out like that, and then you have to clean them all up, which we'll show you how to do in a moment. Another thing that you can do is you can take your index finger, put it face down on the chips, put your thumb on one side, your middle finger on the other side if your hands are big enough, and then you can kind of drop it into the tray like that. There's room to do it. So, moving on, say that you've got a pot of chips, I'll even grab some from over here. You've got a pot of chips like this. Well, say that you need to push this pot to a player. What you wouldn't do, say that you had obstacles here, what you would not do is you would not pick the chips up, put them back down, and push them up. All right? Another thing that you would not do is you would not stack the chips up and then hand them out if it's all going to one player. What you would do is you would surround the chips with your hands, even if it's a lot of chips. All right, you would surround the chips with your hands and you would push them all to the player. You would push them all the way to the player that's going to be out of camera zone, so I'm not going to show you quite that. And as you come away, you clear your hands. So when you push these chips to the player, say that you can't quite do it, because there's just too many of them. Now, if they're all spread out like this, it's okay for you to, to pull them on top of each other a little bit. It's called tightening the pot. 
But what you want to do is you push some of it. Then you go back and you push the rest. That's totally acceptable. And the next thing we'll show, now say that two people split the pot. They had the same hand and they both have to get half the pot. Well, the only way to figure that out is to stack them up and see how much is there. The way that you stack up chips in poker is with your fingertips. Just like when you pick up a stack with your fingertips, you don't want to let them get into your palm. Same thing goes when you're dealing with the stacks, when the chips individually, you pick them up in your fingertips. I'm doing it a little bit slowly to show you what's really going on. You're just basically keeping them out of your palms, keeping them out of the middle of your hands. And when you get enough, you've got enough chips that if you keep going, it's going to be too many. You put them over there and then you keep going with it. Notice I cleared my hands after I went from one stack of chips to another. That's how you stack them up. Now, if this were a tournament or this were a game like roulette, you might take the chips in your uh, thumb and forefinger and you might slide them back into your hand like this. That's what you do with non-value chips, but this we're pretending is a cash game and any of these $5 chips that I'm holding, if a dealer wanted to steal them, they would actually get $5 because they could just have someone bring them to the the cashier and get the money for it. So this is what you do in roulette. I'm showing it to you so that you'll understand if anyone ever tells you, hey, do it this way, you should do it this way. Occasionally people get confused and think you should do it this way in poker. That's not the case. That is only for non-value chips and these chips right here are $5 value chips. Tournament, you can do that, like I said, because those chips have no actual value to them. And the next thing that we wanted to talk about, say that you've got a pot just like we had. I'm putting them back, making another mess. Say that it's somebody's turn over here and there's all these $5 chips here and I'm the dealer and I'm sitting here and this is a no limit game and this player's taking a little bit of time to think about what they're doing. Now that's normal for a no limit cash game. Well every once in a while you'll see a dealer sit there and shuffle the chips, sit there and shuffle the chips. You might see them take the dealer button, say the dealer button's right here because it's in the, this seat over here, the 10 seat. They might take the dealer button and they might start playing with it. They might take some of these spacers. It's kind of tough to see these, but you might be playing with the little spacers here. Any time that you see a dealer playing with gaming equipment, as a player, first of all, you're going to think that's unprofessional. You're going to be less comfortable with them dealing at your table. And also, you're going to wonder if they're stealing anything or doing anything that they shouldn't be doing. Never play with gaming equipment for all of those reasons and more. The next thing that I'll talk about, I'll take a new stack to, to give this point. So, say that I have just done a buy-in. Now this is cutting chips, I'll show this a little bit later. Now, if I've already done everything I need to do with these chips and I've got a stack of chips and it's time to give them to a player, give them to a player, notice the grip that I'm using. This is a grip with that, that same grip I showed you, you might want to use to go into your tray. You put your fingernail down on your forefinger and your other fingers around the, the outside of the chip, basically just your thumb and your, your middle finger, and you can use your ring finger if you need. And you've got pretty good control of the chips, and it looks very professional handing it off like this, and it's easier for the cameras to see it. It looks better than picking it up and handing it off like this, and it's easier to get more distance out of it as well. This is the way to hand off a stack of chips that you're finished with and is going to a player. That's everything for this video. Don't forget to watch the other three videos that I mentioned at the beginning, which are chip cutting, tray maintenance, and also interacting with the tray. My name is Mark Shumsker, and this is TruePokerDealer.com. Thank you very much for watching.